Welcome back. Uh, now staying with news from Punjab after the FIR Lovepeet's order copy has been accessed by CNN News 18. And this is what the order states. It says that in the investigation it has been found that uh, Lovepreet was not involved in judicial custody and which is perhaps what explains uh, the release of Preet as well. That is the breaking input that we are bringing to you here at CNN News 18 which has now accessed the order copy of Lovepreet's release. And in a short while from now, Lovepreet, remember, is going to be released in just a few minutes from now. But remember, uh, it was after the the incident the violence that took place at the ajnala police station uh, that demands were posed uh, uh, by the punjab police and those have been fulfilled that is what the punjab police has to say and that is why now lapreet is also uh, being released should his release be happening uh, within nine days of an FIR being lost is also one question that remains unanswered by the Punjab police. For more details, let's quickly go across to Anshul. Uh, Anshul, there are many uh, unanswered questions that plague our mind as far as the Punjab police is concerned. Primarily, of course, one is that why was an FIR lost without conducting a proper investigation? Uh, well, definitely the entire process that starts for uh, launching an FIR is that a complaint in, is registered and after that if the police deems it necessary that after that complaint a preliminary inquiry is conducted and after that if the police deems it necessary then an FIR is registered uh, for, for any case of, of any matter. But uh, this time around what we see that after the complaint that was received by the Punjab police they were almost ready to register the FIR and as soon as they registered the FIR uh, they went ahead and arrested uh, Tufan Singh and that is something that has created the the entire controversy that we are seeing today and now the, the kind of sections that were mentioned in the FIR the, the, those sections are also very very serious nature those sections start from uh, kidnapping to uh, having weapons and uh, to having intention uh, of rioting etc etc so all these sections are actually very very serious and even after that the manner in which the Punjab police so quickly uh, uh, turned the uh, turned the page and said that uh, Tufan Singh was not involved in any of this right after the meeting that happened yesterday uh, with uh, with Amar Amarpreet Singh. Uh, so uh, Amritpal Singh. So you can see the kind of uh, flip flop that the Punjab police has been doing uh, since yes, especially since yesterday. Now remember, this FIR was launched on the 16th of fe uh, February, and uh, almost for one week, this entire FI the investigation had gone on in this uh, in this entire matter, and the Punjab police was repeatedly seeking police custody. Uh, uh, of the accused after which when the Punjab police thought that the interrogation had happened then they asked for a judicial custody but Absolutely. what happened yesterday is that a mob gets here at this police station and uh, at which I'm standing right now a mob gets here they barge inside the police station uh, while they were ho holding the Guru Granth Sahib as what is being alleged by the police and as a reason that has been given by the police that they were not able to stop them and once they entered the police station there was a meeting that happened uh, with a uh, uh, Amrit Pal Singh and uh, the SSP of this area and once that meeting happened almost in half an hour the police comes out with this statement that they have done a thorough investigation proofs have been given to them uh, right. th and they are ready to vi uh, withdraw right. this FIR and they are, it's they are, interesting they that agree. you are highlighting uh, yesterday's incident Anshul having said that I'm going to ask you is the Punjab police at the moment being held ransom by Amrit Pal Singh and his entire organization especially taking into consideration the incident that's taken place at the Ajnala police station yesterday. And remember, this is a second of the sort in a fortnight. Uh, well, definitely, uh, it, it seems like that, that they have been taken in ransom because you see the kind of violence that happened yesterday. Six police officials have been injured, five uh, police personals and one SP level officer has been injured in the violence that happened yesterday. 22 people uh, got injuries yesterday in the entire violence that took place. And even after that, it has been more than 24 hours Punjab police has not registered even a single complaint in this entire matter. They haven't registered an FIR. And if you see on the other side, uh, Amrit Pal Singh is very clearly saying that if the Punjab police dares uh, to register another FIR, then they are going to see, uh, face the same consequences yet again. Uh, so you see the manner in which this man has been functioning out here in Punjab and the Punjab police and the Punjab administration is absolutely on the back foot. They are in absolute confusion as to how to tackle with this menace that has now come on their heads. You see, 
the uprising of the Khalistan movement uh, is is very very uh, obvious now because that person is on record saying that he is going to fight for Khalistan uh, from India and as well as Pakistan. He says that he is going to uh, help the children out here who are involved in a drug menace. He also alleges uh, that. Uh, the Indian intelligence uh, intelligence forces are feeding drugs right. uh, into the veins of the young children out here. So you see the kind of the manner in which this man has been speaking and still no action whatsoever is being taken from the Punjab government. Not one single complaint has been registered against him because he was the leader of the mob that attacked the police station right now. Although there are police personnel present out here, hundreds of police personnel are present today just to make sure that no untoward situation arises over here. Uh, but yes, uh, that man is still roaming freely in, in this area itself, in the vicinity itself. He is going to each and every Gurudwara out here and his people still have those guns, still have those uh, swords, right. uh, swords with them as they travel uh, Anshul, around, can you hear the, me? around the area. So yes, you see, the, Anshul, can you hear me? Because the next question that I'm asking you about is going to be with regards to the Punjab government. Because time and again, we've been uh, discussing what happened at the Ajnala police station. But it's important to also highlight the kind of lackadaisical approach being adopted by the Punjab government of Bhagwan Singh Man. And, and, and the silence of this government is in fact deafening. Well, definitely the silence is absolutely, absolutely deafening. Uh, because if you see, there is a lot of politics that has already happened in this entire matter. Former chief ministers have already come on record and had taken pot shots at the Ahmadi Party government for their lack, uh, uh, the manner in which they lack to control the law and order of the of the state of Punjab. And this is not the first incident that we are seeing happening here after the elections that happened last year, uh, last year around. In fact, several several such incidents have already happened, and still the Bhagwat Man government has still not come up with a proper solution. Uh, let, let alone the solution, there is still no consensus that has been built between the police and the administration itself. The police uh, says something else, the Punjab government says something else. Uh, so yes, there is absolute case of confusion that is out here uh, in, the, in Punjab because remember the manner in which the police has operated, that is absolutely, absolutely mm. unprecedented. I have never seen a, a police, uh, police operating in such a manner where they register an FIR, then a mob attacks them and suddenly they come out and say that everything is fine. The, the accused was not, uh, not involved in the case and we are going to let go of the accused. This is absolutely shocking and absolutely unheard right. of. The, I'm sorry, I'm sure we'll have to leave it at that since I'm running short of time. But many thanks to all our viewers for tuning in. And with that, it's a wrap of this newscast. Thank you so much for watching CNN News 18. devastating consequences impacts for all of us and it's unbelievable so there's only one solution to it get back to your borders Russia you like to know uh, uh, this whole one year 